Hi Schubert friends and welcome to our new tutorial. My name is Martin and I will show you today our SC2 communication system. I installed the SC2, the remote control and the microphone onto our C5 helmet here. To switch on the SC2 you need to press the button for 3 seconds until you hear hello. Hello. The remote control is already paired with the device. To wake up the remote control, tap plus or any other button three to four times. Remote control connected. As soon as you hear that the remote control is connected, the SC2 is ready to use. In the next step of our tutorial, I will show you how to get your mobile phone paired with your SC2 device. Therefore, you need to enter the configuration menu. To do so, Press the upper center button for 10 seconds until you hear configuration menu. Please note, after 5 seconds you will hear intercom pairing. Stay on the button until you hear configuration menu. Let's do so. Intercom pairing. Stay on the button. Configuration menu. Now tap plus until you hear phone pairing. phone pairing and take your mobile phone and go to your Bluetooth settings and choose the SC2 communication system. Your headset is paired. As soon as you hear that your headset is paired with the SC2 device, you can use the brand new SC2 app for your smartphone. With the SC2 app, you can give your SC2 a, a, a fully usable display. Let's take a look through the app. With the SC2 app, which is available in the Google Play Store or in the Apple App Store, you can change the language from the voice prompts of your device. You can also enable Mesh or you can also pair another SC2 via Intercom or you can pair another communication system via the QR code. With the app, you can also enable some settings like Vox or audio multitasking. Have a look and try out. If you want to pair a connectivity system from your motorbike or a GPS system, please pair the connectivity system from your motorbike via the pairing mode for the first mobile phone. Your mobile phone you need to pair with the motorbike. If your mobile phone supports a second Bluetooth connection, please pair it as a second mobile phone with your SC2. The same for the GPS device. You can pair the GPS device via GPS pairing with your SC2. And your mobile phone you need to pair with the GPS device. And if your mobile phone supports a second Bluetooth connection, please pair it as a second mobile phone with your SC2. The next step in our tutorial is to show you how to use Mesh. To enable Mesh, you need to tap the lower center button once. You will hear the voice prompt that the device is in Open Mesh Channel 1. Mesh intercom on. Open Mesh Channel 1. This is always the standard settings. If you like to change the channel or if you would like to switch between open mesh and group mesh, no problem. I will show you how it works. Those helmet is in group mesh. You can switch between group mesh and open mesh by pressing the lower center button until you hear the second double beep. Open mesh. Channel 1. Now both helmets are in channel 1. If you like to change the channel, you can use the app or tapping the lower center button twice. Channel setting 1. With the plus Two. or with the minus button, One. you can switch between the channels. Tap the upper center button channel is set. to set the channel. If you like to create a group mesh with maximum 
24 participants, you need to press the lower center button until you hear the third double beat. On the other helmets, you need to do the same. Mesh grouping. Group mesh. After a few seconds, you will hear that the helmets are now in a closed group, in a group mesh. However, if you like to invite some other riders, Press the lower center button until you hear the third double beep on the other helmets too. As soon as you hear that those helmet is in group mesh 2, you can start your conversation. With the SC2 you can have also an intercom conversation, for example here with an SC1 communication system. To use Bluetooth intercom, please switch off mesh intercom on the SC2 devices. Mesh intercom off. Mesh intercom off. Now we need to pair the devices together. We pair helmet A with helmet B and helmet C with helmet B. Let's enter the pairing mode for the SC2 device number one. To do so, press the upper center button until you hear intercom pairing. Intercom pairing. Now switch DSC1 into pairing mode for intercom. To do so, press the minus button until you hear the double beep and tap plus. After a few seconds, both devices are paired together. Let's set the other SC2 into pairing mode for Bluetooth intercom. Intercom pairing. Again, set the SC1 in pairing mode for Bluetooth intercom. And again, after a few seconds, the other SC2 is paired with the SC1. Now you can have a three-way intercom communication with your friends. When all devices are paired via intercom together and you have a break, you don't need to pair the devices again after the break. You can easily open and close the speech channel by tapping the upper center button the minus button until you hear the double beep and tap it once or twice or on the other device the upper center button. We hope that you like our SC2 video tutorial. If you have any questions feel free to contact us via phone or via email. Bye!